Good evening guys, I am back. Today I want to present to you my unboxing of my new uh, Samsung Galaxy Bud 3 Pro. I decided to buy it because I saw the big opportunity to get it cheap online. I bought it only around uh, $165 from Lazada Thailand during the November discount. That's a big $85 discount compared to uh, $250 official pricing. It would be even better if I can get the silver color. However, the discount only happened with uh, the white rod. But I'm still very okay with the color. And uh, personally, I am a big uh, Galaxy Bud user. My previous device is the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro uh, first generation from 2021. I always looking for an update, but uh, I think the Buds 2 Pro isn't was the update for me. And even if I'm not an Apple user, but I always love the Apple uh, choice of design. Uh, in this case, the Apple AirPod Pro 2, the stem design. I think all the Android manufacturer are trying to copy Apple nowadays or later in the future. So uh, when this Galaxy Buds 3 Pro uh, comes out, I must admit that I feel that Samsung uh, is trying to copy Apple. But I don't care much about those uh, copycat stuff. It just makes us as a uh, technology user uh, to be able to have a lot of choice in getting those amazing device. Previously, if you want an AirPod Pro 2 for Android, you don't have. But now we have one. I think the Buds 3 Pro is the way to go. And after a lot of reading from Reddit, the Buds 3 Pro is a lot better than the Buds 2 Pro. Except from the design standpoint, which is uh, subjective for me. So I'm sure that... Uh, my uh, upgrade from the uh, Galaxy Buds Pro is going to wash every penny of it. My only problem with uh, the Buds Pro is I feel that it doesn't stay uh, strong and fit in my ear. So I'm very looking forward to try uh, the, the, the stem design. Okay, so let's look around the box. Okay, you can see a Samsung logo, the Buds picture, the Buds 3 Pro. Okay. Nothing else. Shoe off for the Galaxy wearable. Okay, you have uh, the seal, uh, two seal to make sure that it is a, a genuine device. Okay, let's okay, let's unbox it. Okay, you have to put Okay. Okay, here it is. You can see the butt itself, the white color. Okay, here uh, nothing else. Here you can see uh, up here there is a one USB a Type C cable. Okay. Here, yes, both are type C. Okay, I think it's great that it has also the same color. Okay, here you got a uh, up. I think it's the extra tip. Yes, it is up here. Okay, you have you got two pair of extra tip. I think it's the large one and the small one. I think the medium one is the default that they put uh, in the bus itself. Okay. Here is the quick start guy. Okay, here it is. Okay, quick start guy. As always, those clever stuff. There's no sticker, unlike Apple. But who needs sticker for their bus? Okay. So. Okay, and the case feel very premium uh, that is my first uh, white electronic accessories <laughs> and I don't remember having one before so it feel a little bit strange I can immediately feel that the the, uh, the case is is bigger it is great that it can it can stand still okay as you can see yeah you can put it like this or like this okay it can stand still yes and it has a USB type C on the bottom and there is one pairing button. Okay. There is one small LED light in front. Okay, the 
the cover part as you can see is clear and you rarely see uh, that design on the other buds but i understand that samsung want you to see the buds uh, inside without the need to open it okay and uh, however i feel that the clear part is gonna get scratched a lot easier than the other part so i already ordered a case for it i'm also, I also gonna review it in the near future the butt itself feel okay to take in and out as you can see okay okay and uh, the total weight uh, is around uh, 52 gram which is almost the same as you can see the the same as the uh, the original Galaxy Buds Pro but however according to the Samsung website the Buds uh, feel uh, weigh only uh, 5.4 gram uh, which is lighter than the uh, the Galaxy Buds okay up here this bud weigh uh, uh, um, 6.3 gram this one is only 5.4 and yes I, I i feel it i feel that this bud even with the stem design even with uh, the extra stem it is lighter so that's very surprising to me okay yeah i feel this one is lighter okay and uh, it has an uh, ip57 rating which means you can submerge the butt in up to three feet of water for fully 30 minutes and the stem it support a uh, pinch and swipe control which is very nice and uh, what okay talking about water resistant uh, the butt is what is ip57 water resistant but the case isn't so you have to be uh, careful for that and it has a bluetooth of 5.4 version okay and the highlight is in the software department of uh, is the galaxy ai especially if you use the samsung galaxy phone okay like the adaptive equalizer adaptive noise control and real-time interpreter those uh, adaptive stuff and i'm really excited to test it in the near future uh, for the battery life it gives you a total for around 26 to 30 hour of uh, listening time which is already better than the uh, 18 to 28 hour of my first generation galaxy buds pro uh, so uh, that's for me in this video i will fully using it for one month and i'm going to show my impression against comparing it against my old uh, galaxy buds okay and uh, so love you all have a, a very nice day and bye bye